Hey everybody, it's Beth Gaff with the Peabody Public Library and welcome back to another session of Fun with Robotics. Today we're going to be taking a look at some different robotic items that the library has to offer to the public and as soon as programming uh, resumes, we will be having those robotic sessions here at the library. Uh, keep in mind that robotics is more than just us driving robots around. Uh, with tablets. It's actually learning how to use those tablets and the software, which are the apps that go along with them, uh, figuring out how to code them, make them do what they're supposed to do, um, make them do what we want them to do. So there is a lot that goes into robotics um, other than just uh, driving around a robot. Uh, building robots is a, another way of um, of us doing a robotic session uh, and so forth and so on. So I don't wanna waste any more time because I love our robotic sessions. So come with me, let's, let's take a look at some of those robots. Meet Plugo, an educational AR gaming system. Create a connected system of gears to kickstart the light and sound machine. Play hands-on to solve problems without touching the screen. Design shapes and structures with Plugo Link. How much time did he take to complete the trail? Visualize math through stories with Plugo Count. You got this. Plugo makes STEM learning super fun. Chase speed and words with Plugo Quest. Find the lamp that glows. The water won't dim its light, so find the one that keeps shining bright. Drive across land, air, and water with Plugo Steer. Very good, Captain Harlow. Unlimited gaming and learning unlocked with Plugo. Welcome back to another session of Fun with Robotics. Today we are going to take a look at Plugo. And the one I have is called Plugo Count. Uh, there are several different styles uh, that you can get. And according to the back of one of these, here we go. So we have a Plugo Link, uh, Tunes. Of course, we're going to work, be working with Count today, as well as Steer. So there are several different kits that you can get with Plugo. Um, it says it enables hands-on play without touching the screen, which in this day and age is probably pretty nice that we don't have a screen to uh, be touching constantly. So what I've done is, is I've gone into my app store and I have actually downloaded the app, which is right here. And it's called Plugo. And I'm gonna put that over here. Okay. Like so. Maybe. And it tells us on here, one of these boxes shows us, here we go, shows us the devices that can be used. So iPad mini 2, iPad Air, iPad Pro, 
and as well as some of your um, Android devices. All right, so I'm gonna look in my book. And what is Plugo? So it's an AR gaming system uh, to spark the STEM and STEAM skills um, to encourage hands-on play. So I already showed you the compatibility modes. Uh, so we have to do an app setup. So let's do that. So I'm gonna push open the app and I'm going to probably Plugo, that's what it's called. I thought it was Plugo. Um, we're gonna go with the United States because that's where I am. Select the even number to show me the way out. So I am selecting even numbers. There we go. So now I need to sign up. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign up. So it asked me for my email, so I put it in there, and now I'm going to put child's name in here. I'm just gonna put my name in. And um, it gives you grade levels that you can choose from. I'm just gonna go right in the middle at four. And now it's telling me Okay, so it's downloading our progress. And I may need to go plug it in. So I'm gonna plug it in here. Oops. I didn't mean to turn it off. There we go. And now it is syncing. And I'm just gonna hit yes on all these. And we're waiting for it to set up our game. Now, I have not played this before, so I'm very, very curious. Maybe I have to put this here. It says it is setting up our game. So, this is magnetic, and it looks like this is very easily cleaned so this is all magnetic this part here and then we have all of our pieces and then it says let's play so it's sinking part one of four so i'm going to shut this video off and once it comes back on we should be ready to go So all the updates have been done. So keep in mind that once you first download this app for uh, Plugo or Plugo, then you are gonna need to set up an account. And once you do that, it's going to sync everything that you need to it. So let me get this out real quick. So it has um, downloaded all the games and everything. The only one I have is Count. So that's the one we're gonna be working with, but you can clearly see how you would be able to access some of those other kits that are available to you as well. So I'm gonna put this back in here. And I'm gonna push on count. Unfold the game pad on a flat surface. So I've unfolded the game pad. Your device left most with the camera on left. Okay, so my camera's on left and it's to the left. Okay. All right, so it's telling me to place any number on Spike. Nice. Place any operator on Spike. So I'm gonna bring you over here so you can kind of see what's going on. 
So here we are with um, this, and here's that four I just put on there. So now I need to choose, let's go with an addition. So I have an addition. So it changed it to plus and gave me the answer. So I'm gonna say, got it. All right, so now we can play some kind of an adventure. So here's our adventures. So I've got Tales of Numero, Arrow Strike, Life of Leo. Oh, I guess we're gonna do Life of Leo. I accidentally pushed it, so that's the one we're gonna attempt. And here's my little guy. Here's my brilliance report. Help me improve it before I take it to Mama Llama. All right, so we're gonna hit Let's Play. Time to meditate. My dad says meditation helps to calm the mind. I am not sure, but what's the harm in trying? All right, so now we're gonna hit play On now. Days, I meditated for 13 minutes, 20 minutes. How many minutes did I meditate in total? All right, so now it wants our answer. So it's searching for Spike. Looks like it found him. Spike is this guy here. So now we need to come up with our answer. So here are my pieces. So we need to add these up. 20 and 13 is 33. So it's searching for spike again. All right, so I've not done this before. So I'm gonna do a three and a three. All right, so we got that one. On weekdays, I meditated for 21 minutes, 10 minutes. How many minutes did I meditate in total? Okay, so we're gonna add 21 and 10, which is 31. It's finding our spike. All right, so we need to put three and a one on there. So here's my one, here's my three. So I'm gonna put three, which it's reading, and one. Fantastic. See? On Very minutes, cool. I meditated for six minutes, 12 minutes. How many minutes did I meditate in total? All right, so it looks like we're gonna need to put an 18 on there. It's gonna find our spike. Middle two magnetic spots. Okay. So we're gonna need a one and an eight. So I'm gonna go with one and eight. Well done. That is super cool. It is reading it right on him. Practice makes perfect success. So we just earned a badge. Wooly genius. All right, so we're gonna go back. And I think I wanna try Monsters Can't Count. Ooh. So now I'm gonna choose the Sleepsters or Elementary School. I'm gonna go with the Sleepsters. Tap on a monster to play. Let's see. Let's tap on him. No, no, don't disturb, no, no. Okay. Don't disturb her. Okay. He's in deep sleep. All right, well, I guess that's the only option we have. Perfect. Oops. Place the correct numeral on the spike to answer the questions. Just count here, count there, and put them together. All right, so we need to count. We have two and six, which is eight. So I'm going to grab an eight.
Awesome. my two. Two. Awesome. So in reviewing this, this would be very, oh, I got to remove my number. Perfect. So in really reviewing this, I feel like this would be great for all ages. It's very dull, durable. The pieces are quite large. Um, you get pretty pretty large pieces um, and with it being universally used with your iPad or your Android, I feel like it's going to benefit. Oh, it wants me to guess. So. Three. That applause. Yay. So we're going to get an applause. More donuts. Oh, wow. That's a big number. Five plus four. So I've got my nine. Nine, ta-da! Very awesome. Um, yeah, so this is really durable. It looks like the app's gonna be very, very easy to use. I can see where buying some of these other kits would be a really great idea. I think um, the next one I wanna try, actually, I wanna get them all, actually. Uh, but here we go. So you've got music letters building so you can see there's a lot there to do um i'm going to try to find a video on this so we can sh see other things that can be played with it and i'm going to make a list for you of the different stuff um so let me grab my eight Yeah, the kids are gonna love this. Um, the animations in this and the color and the interaction in this. I'm on a very easy level, um, but there's plenty of different levels. Oh, look, then that unlocked a new character so we could push on him now. Oops. So let's see what he does. So I'm assuming they're all gonna be a little different. So it's going to be basically the same thing. But I have a feeling the farther in that you get, I'm going to put my two on. Two, good job. So I have a feeling the farther in that you get, um, the harder it's going to get for the kids. Plus we've set it, I set it at a fourth grade level as well. So I'm going to go back and back even more. Okay, so you have to complete this one to move on. So let's try this one here, the Solar Empire. Hello, officer. And let's see what they Your have. Ooh, very very colorful. Planet Mercury, officer. With this map, you won't lose yourself in space. Add the number with the number of asteroids. So three plus one, which would be four. Four, that's how you do it. Okay, so this is a space game. That's kind of cool. It's and nice the that they have that so seven plus two is nine. So it's nice that they have different games and I would imagine the farther you get, yeah, I like it. Um, the harder it will get for you. I kind of want to finish this game, sorry. So six plus one is seven, right? Seven, that's how you do it. Add the number with the number one plus three is four. Four, that's awesome. Add 
one plus one is two. We're gonna just kind of go with this here. Okay, so we have a 7 plus 1, which is an 8. Alright, so I'm going to go back to my apps. Very cool. So um, I can see where kids would have hours of fun with this. It really is made for all ages. Um, you can set it up to be harder than um, easy kind of thing. Um, it does come with these boxes, so you put the mat in one box, all your other pieces go in the other, and they both slide into this box. So, um, again, in reviewing this, I think this would be great for all ages. It's going to be hours worth of fun for parents and their kids to work together. Uh, and um, in reviewing it, I feel like all the pieces are very big, and the mat's big. Um, the most expense you would probably have with this would be the tablet that you want to use, uh, but you could get a cheaper Android tablet just to kind of get you along with it. So this was all about Plugo, Plugo, however you want to say it, um, and I'll have some more information lifted on, listed on the class for us. So I hope you had a great time playing with our little guy here. Um, and I hope to get a better chance to show you in person when the library opens back up to the public so we can have our programming again. So um, thanks everybody. Hopefully if you end up buying Plugo or Plugo and you want to let us know about it, send me a video showing me you using it. That would be fantastic. Or any of the fun with robotics items. We purchased this from Amazon, just like we purchased everything from Amazon. So you'd be able to get this from Amazon. So thanks everybody, have a great day.